Results, review, and call out from the 2023 Japan Pro. What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wools here for Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are back for our wrap up and review of the 2023 Japan Pro, where Theo Laguerriere wins it, qualifies for the 2024 Mr. Olympia, and since the Olympia, where the top three qualified for 2024. Samson Dowder won the next contest for Prague Pro. Now, this is the first qualifier outside of that, so we now have four men qualified for the 2024 Mr. Olympia. Of course, not counting the previous winners like Big Rami, Brandon Curry, and all these other guys that are lifetime qualified from actually winning an Olympia title. But let's get into it. So Thea Laguerriere wins $16,000 for getting first place, and shout out to the promoters of Japan Pro, which I believe is Hidetati Yamagishi and Iris Kyle. Did a fantastic job. I want to firstly say as well, the stage presentation, the lighting, they had the strobe lights and stuff, but when the competitors came out, they went off, which was fantastic. It was a breath of fresh air. Absolutely loved it. The production of the live stream as well was awesome. It was a little bit pricey, but willing to pay it to bring the coverage to you guys. And it was just really good. I mean, obviously I didn't understand the Japanese language, which was a challenge. So the interviews and stuff after the contest and before all the backstage stuff I didn't get. But Hidetari Yamagishi as well was actually translating a lot of the stuff for the crowd and things like that. So they did it amazingly well. The only thing I will say is that I didn't like the screen behind the competitors. I think if they just blacked out that middle screen, just the middle one at the back and still had all the other lights and had everything else happening, I think it would have been even better. But outside of that, a phenomenal show and the prize money as well. I think it was thirty thousand dollars total that went to the open men's bodybuilding, and I think normally it's more like about fifteen to twenty thousand, maybe at max, for a lot of these smaller shows. So shout out to them. Second place finisher as well, Alfred Chirac got seven grand. But touching on Theo, I thought he looked fantastic. Brought a really good physique to the stage. I think it was no worse than any other physique that he's brought to the stage this year. I think that maybe he's holding a little bit of fluid at the pre-judging, um, but really, I think it was just a tiny bit of fluid. He had no body fat on his physique. Uh, the glutes were in, everything was in. I mean, he lacks detail in like maybe the, the biceps in the front double bicep and a few things like that, but. Honestly, I thought he was the deserving winner, and I agreed with a lot of the decisions in this as well, but so many of them were so close, and there's such a big prize difference between first and fourth place. If you're finishing in fourth, which we will get to, you'd probably feel a little bit hard done by, but Alfred Chiriak in second, I really didn't know which way it was going to go because Alfred was in the middle at all of the call-outs, so they had a top four call-out at the pre-judging. They didn't actually do call-outs at the finals, which was another thing that was... Uh, a little bit strange about this show, or one thing that was a little bit strange about this show, because pre-judging went for a long time, and then finals was very, very quick, and it actually started early. At 7.30 local time, their local time, I jumped on, and I was already awarding some of these classes, so I thought it was actually meant to start at that time, but that was a little bit surprising, but they did actually warn that it might have actually started early, which I was surprised about, but... Regardless, uh, I was here for the other classes, but Ashley Coltwasser did win that bikini as well. We got a 43rd pro victory, and I think she won $7,500, which is actually a lot for a bikini show. So shout out to Ashley Coltwasser for being the most winning IFB pro of all time across all classes, obviously, with Dex Jackson, I think, having 29 wins in the open men's bodybuilding being the record in that. Liang Yan or Shuming Yang or whatever his name is. At the contest, it was Liang Yan, so we're going with that. He wins $4,000 and looked fantastic. He was on the outside of all the call-outs, so I didn't really think that he had a chance to win this one. I think he believed he did from talking to him after pre-judging, but he looked really good. Honestly, if you put him in the middle when he stayed in the middle the whole time and you said he's the winner, I wouldn't really argue because standing alone, to me, he is the winner. He's got huge arms. He came in his best condition ever. This was his best physique on stage. I thought he looked really, really good. And when he came out 
after Theo because when Theo had been on stage, I'm like, he's the best so far. And then Liang Yan came out. I'm like, whoa, do we have a challenge in this contest? And we did have that challenge as well from Alfred Chiriak. But Liang looked really, really good. Very, very impressed. And uh, yeah, cannot wait to see him in a few future shows in 2024. In fourth place, we had Roman Fritz getting $2,000. And that's what I mean about the difference between first and fourth. And honestly, you could have made a case for most of these guys winning this contest. Roman just lacks a little bit of muscle on the upper body. He's done his 10th show this year. And honestly, the quality of his muscle though, when he walked out on stage, I was like, whoa, okay, Roman isn't going to be fourth place like I predicted, but he ended up being fourth. But the quality of the muscle is just so, so impressive. And his posing has improved so much from show one this year to show 10. He has come leaps and bounds. And honestly, he could have placed a little bit higher at some shows, could have placed a little bit lower at other shows. But honestly, I think that he sort of got for the most part what he deserved at contests but they could have always favored you know crazy conditioning and put him a spot or two higher and that makes a big difference in terms of how much he actually makes makes from these contests as well but shout out to roman fritz another phenomenal showing and with just that little bit more muscle next year on the upper body if he can do that he's going to convert these fourth places into seconds or wins for sure in fifth place we had vitor Boff winning one thousand dollars I don't think this is Vitor's best that he's brought to the stage. I don't think it was his worst. I think it was just somewhere around the middle or maybe slightly below that. I really want to see him bring that detail to the certain body parts. I think he's lost a little bit of that detail in some of the body parts. And I want to see him bring that back to the stage and bring that crazy conditioning with that new added fullness. Now, another thing I want to point out as well is the belts these guys got. Pretty interesting, pretty cool. I assume it's some sort of tradition. I mean... If you got that over here, it'd look more like, I don't know, a bit of a scandalous belt or something like that. But uh, nah, obviously pretty cool. And congrats to all the winners here. The men's physique guy was really good. Didn't get his name because the webcast was in Japanese, so I didn't catch that and I didn't see it when it popped up on the screen. But that was another thing they did great with the webcast too. Everyone's name's popping up on the screen. So, so cool. And the stage production, like I mentioned, just absolutely crazy. But anyway, that's it for this contest. If you did enjoy this video, give the video a thumbs up, smash that like button, also subscribe and hit the notification bell button. That way you'll be notified of every video that goes up from myself, Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding. So for Xavier Wills, this is Desktop Bodybuilding and we are...